geeks, citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skether. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and we're here to deliver your recommended daily allowance of headlines. Your recommended daily allowance, as they say. NASA celebrated a major milestone in its ongoing journey to get people to Mars. The space agency tested one of the solid rocket boosters that will be used to launch a deep space rocket towards Mars in the future. The boosters will make the space launch system rocket the most powerful we've ever launched into space, and this marks the second test NASA has done on them. The booster didn't actually fly anywhere as it was tethered to the ground, but it did kick up a lot of smoke and dust out in the Utah deserts, burning for a total of 545 seconds. The previous test was to heat the booster, and this was to test its performance at cooler temperatures. NASA plans an SLS test flight in late 2018, and we might see an actual crew launch in the SLS between the years 2021 and 2023, which is not too far off. Let's go to Mars! I'm let's, ready! Let's go to Mars! Go to... I, I love I'm, it. Oh, man. I, I love it. It's happening. It's really happening. And We're, that's not that far away. No, it's, it's so much closer than you imagine it to be. That's five years from now, minimum, maybe seven. And we might send some people to Mars by 2030. Awesome. That's the goal. It's Mars 2030. They want, they want to do it. So good job, guys. And good I'm job. glad the booster test went great. You've heard us talk about the Void before, the VR theme park, but the Void is no longer the only game in town. Zero Latency has been developing a free-roaming VR experience for years, and last August, it opened its doors to the public in North Melbourne, Australia. It's been such a success that Sega is partnering to bring a version of its zombie experience to a Tokyo amusement park called Joypolis. They use modified headsets and other props to help immerse you in the action, and the entire experience is completely tether-free, since the computer powering everything is inside a backpack you slip on at the start of the game. The experience costs around 65 bucks, lasts an hour, and Zero Latency is looking into expanding into other countries around the globe. Like... Right here. Like Jeff's living room backyard. In fact, slash. I think you could just Zero Latency if you're watching, uh, set up one right in this studio. We got room. Plenty we of got space. room. Plenty of space. And we got the enthusiasm. I think this is going to be uh, big going forward. I think there's going to be a lot of these kinds this of places. This is the new laser tag. Yeah. This is the new laser tag. And, and I think it's cool the way they describe how, uh, you know, just like going to a movie, this is a separate experience. You can have VR at home, just like you would watch a movie at home, but this would be on a much grander scale, and that's why you want to pay for that experience. 65 bucks, though? That's a little steep. For an steep. hour? I know, it's I'm cool, in. but it's, it's, it's a little steep. I mean, being tether-free and the guns and everything, yeah. it's so cool. It looks so much fun. I, it looks like so much fun. I would totally do it. I, I'm in. Oh, I'm definitely in. Tie me up. <laughs> uh, what do you want to talk about on Thursday? I mean, either of these stories is really great. I love the idea of going to Mars, uh, and you know me in VR, so your call. Well, I think that we should let you guys choose, and you can, by using the hashtag HeyTV. Sounds good to me. Also, if you want to comment on either of these stories and let us know what your feedback or impressions or whether you'd rather go to Mars or rather be in a VR <laughs> amusement park. Uh, I'd rather you... go to Mars in a VR amusement park. Oh, there you go. Done. Uh, you can use that hashtag HeyTV, and then we'll incorporate your comments on Thursday when we, we talk about this stuff in the long form show. Yes, and so now it is time, as always, to check out our photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Ben, who took this photo on an iPhone 5S. Ben writes, my name is Ben, common pronunciation. See, we like that, Ben. And I'm a military photojournalist serving in northern Japan. While exploring the northernmost point on the mainland here, we snapped this goofy selfie with my iPhone 5S overlooking a temple located at a place called the Gates of Hell. My wife Andrea and I went for the standard smile while our friends Kyle and Kim attempted a photo bomb. We think the joke's on them. You have my permission to use this photo, and I love watching y'all every morning during breakfast. It has become my routine. Keep it up, because coffee just isn't the same without Tomorrow Daily. Well, enjoy your coffee, Ben. I hope you, I hope it's uh, if waking If I had a you coffee up. mug, I'd toast you right now, but yeah. I don't. So uh, cheers to you, and have a great morning. Um, I've loved these selfies. Me too. But we got to come up with a new theme for July. We do. I uh, Producer Logan had a pretty good idea. What's that? He said pets. Okay, I'm I into that. Pets is a good one. I like it. Unorthodox pets. Maybe you yeah. got a sugar glider that lives in your pocket. I don't know. <laughs> Take a picture of it. Send it yeah. to us. Our, our July theme will be pets. Um, we'll have some housekeeping, but I will. we will not be here next week. We'll be dark all of 
Fourth of July week. Yes, we will be too will be no too uh, too drunk on meats on from the barbecue. America. I'll be too drunk yeah. on America. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so pets will be our next theme starting the week after Fourth of July week. And you can send those in to tomorrow at cnet.com. Just make sure you tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Tell us how to pronounce your name, even if you think it's obvious. Like Ben, smart. Good job, Great Ben. Work. And uh, also, we love stories about why you took a picture of that pet or how it came across your pet. Make sure you tell us your pet's name. Yeah, and tell us how to pronounce that, too. This is my dog. Yesterday, when you weren't here, uh, uh, the guy told me how to pronounce his name, which was Raph, which, you know, thank you. Great. But I can understand that. But then there's like 14 other words in his story that that were... So I could have done it. I could anything, have done it. I'd have been fine. Anything that might be questionable, we love the pronunciation. Yes. Uh, so that is it for today's show. You can also find us on social media. We're at Tomorrow Daily on all your favorite sites. Uh, and if you can't find Tomorrow Daily, find us because we're probably there. Uh, you should come find me on Musical.ly because I'm going to start making music videos there. Uh, that is it for today's show. Whoa. We'll be back tomorrow. Just threw that in at the I end. Did. It's pretty big I news. Did. That's cool. Uh, um, Anthony Carboni is going to be our guest this Thursday. I'm not familiar with him. Yeah, I don't. You, I think I you may know. have met him once a I'm long time familiar. ago. Uh, but until then, we'll be back tomorrow. But until then, <laughs> be good humans. Bye, guys.